Hello everyone, this is David Godibadze from Mighty Solutions Network and here I have a simple topology. I have Unify Ultra running the VPN server and then I have a user computer connecting to the VPN through the WireGuard, okay? VPN, I wrote it backward. Now, if I activate the VPN client, which is generated by the US, USG Ultra from the Unify platform, by default, all the traffic that is generated here including internet traffic, will go to the VPN server first. And then if there is a NAT here and the access list allowing this traffic to go to the internet, it will go to the internet, okay? But what if I don't want that? What if I want the local internet traffic to go directly how it was before to the internet and only VPN traffic to go to this site? We can do that. We can actually do that but it's not done from the VPN server, like on with Cisco AnyConnect. It is done from the user side, on the VPN client side. And here's the VPN client configuration. And if we go into edit, you will see a load IPs here. This string actually is not to allow or deny IP addresses. This is actually how the VPN client of WireGuard deploys routes into the routing table. If we do route print on the Windows machine, you can see that my default route is through the local gateway, okay, 10.2.1.1. This is the local router that I'm running on the remote user site. If I connect this, if I activate this VPN client and I rerun the command, you will see that there is a new default route through the VPN IP address. Okay, this IP address is here, right here. That means any traffic that goes to the internet will go through the VPN server. So if I do trace route to 8.8.8.8, we will see that the one of the next hub will be this guy here. Okay. This IP address is not a load here in the NAT and the routing, well, not routing, in the NAT and the security, so it's not going to work. But you, s you see that the next hop is not local IP address, not local gateway, right? That's because all the traffic goes to the VPN server. Now let's change that. Instead of deploying the default route on the user computer, let's deploy route only for one specific subnet this is the default network on the UCG in the main office. And we actually have two subnets. Let's deploy the second subnet as well. Now, if I activate this VPN, the WireGuard VPN client will deploy these routes on the Windows routing table. So if I rerun the command of the route print, now you can see that, that there is a new to route here that goes goes through the VPN. And this is one, this is the second. And you can see that there is no new default route with the new IP address, only old one. So if I trace route 8.8.8.8 .8 again, it will not go to the VPN client, it will go directly to the local gateway. And this, my friends, is how you split VPN WireGuard traffic for the Unified platform. Thanks for watching and drop your comments in the comment section.